2. Brigadier General Edward D. Banta, subject, change of command, effective 10 hundred, 1 August 2000, signed for the President, Ray Mavis, Secretary of the Navy. Certificate. For the President, Ray Mabus, Secretary of the Navy. Certificate of Retirement from the Armed Command. Please accept my sincere appreciation for the caring and compassionate role you have played as a key member to our Marine Corps family. It is with great pleasure I say thank you and semper fidelis. Signed, Juan G. Ayala, Major General, United States Marine Corps, Commander, Marine Corps Installed. And I can't tell you how proud we are of both you and Sandy for the way that you have comported yourselves over the years, and most importantly, the way you put your arms around your Marines and sailors and taking care of them. Fair winds and following seas, my friends, Semper Fidelis. First and foremost, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for what you did this past year. Very challenging year. Uh, think about it. Two wildfires, sequestration, shutdowns, you name it. But it was a very, very challenging year for this base, for all five bases. But I really want to thank you for that incredible support you gave to that magnificent MEF of 50,000 Marines, geographically spread over five installations, which are represented here. For all of the, the Marine sailors, civilians, and families in Marine Corps Installations West and our regional installations, uh, I am privileged and humbled to be here to join your ranks. You have a tradition of excellence that, uh, that, that is going to be incredible to fall in on. And it's just wonderful to be here. So I look forward to serving with you. Out the door. But the one thing that, uh, that has remained uh, constant, and uh, that has been the Marines. Whether we have the Marines active duty, retired, sitting out here in the audience today to the one standing behind me. That esprit de corps has always remained constant. Our equipment has changed, our tactics have changed, well, everything evolves over the year. But the camaraderie and the esprit de corps with the Marines and sailors has always been, uh, it's always been constant. And we, uh, and we all love them for that. 